Welcome back once again to Pray, everybody. Thank you for joining me again. I am Mental Fox. Well, we just spent the last couple of episodes running around the shuttle bay here. Why did that door just open? <laughs> Why did that door just open? I'm going to be stupid and walk over here and see. I mean, I don't think there's any more baddies walking around in here. Pretty sure there's not, so I don't know why that door opened. Maybe it's just because I just loaded the game. Anyway, we spent a lot of time here in the shuttle bay, and it is now time for us to finally go back into the Talos One lobby. If you remember a long, long time ago, when we got this objective here to go back to Halden Graves' office in the Neuromod division, remember we were in... Uh, psychotronics at the time and we had to make a decision as to how we were going to get back to the Neuromod division. Well, what I decided to do was go through the guts and then find our way to the shuttle bay, which would then let us go back to the lobby, which would then let us go back to the Neuromod division. And we've done all that and it has been a long hard road, but we are finally here and I am finally going to press this button and we're going to go back to the lobby. Now, we've been to the lobby many times in the game, well several times, maybe not many, and every time we've come back to the lobby there's been harder and harder enemies, so I'm very apprehensive about coming back here. We do have more weapons at our disposal, but I still kind of suck at using them, and I hesitate to use the most powerful weapon, the Q-Beam, because, um, well, because I don't have any ammo for it, or I don't have much ammo for it anyway. So, there's a turret here, that I do believe was working the last time I was here. So, there's been some trouble here. We're gonna go and repair this thing. Oh, look at him. We're gonna carry it and then we're gonna set it back down here and deploy it. Deploying. And really, the only thing we wanna do here in the lobby is to get through it. That's all we wanna do. Nothing fancy. Just get through the lobby, get back to the Neuromod division, which is in that direction up there, where those stairs are. That's where we're gonna go. But you know darn well that this is not gonna be easy. You know there's gonna be enemies in here, there's gonna be bad guys, and there's probably going to be a lot of them, and they're probably gonna see me before I see them. But right now, it is kinda quiet in here. Looking for, like, flickering lights and such, which would, may indicate a phantom. And... Not really seeing any at the moment, are you? So... So far, so good. I am crouching and walking as quietly as I can. Trying to make as little noise as I possibly can. I don't even want to open that door accidentally. So I just want to get through this lobby. Did I ever empty this garbage can? I did. Okay, we've got doors opening and shutting. But as we know, the game likes to do that. Now, these doors here have been opening and shutting by themselves through the whole game, so... Attention. Station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Yep. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna go up these stairs here. It's gonna take us right to the Neuromod division. Nice and quiet in here. I can live with that. I like nice and quiet. Nice change of pace. Not so frantic. Why does that look so weird? Just a low res texture. Last time I came here, I got attacked by a Mimic. But not much going on here. Okay. Well, it would seem as though we have made it back to Neuromods without, uh, without any incident at all. So we're going to go back into Neuromods and see if we could find Halden Graves' office. Now, I'm pretty sure we've probably already visited this office before. And I think it was in this little section where there's a bunch of little cubes next to each other. But I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong, because there are still some areas in here that we have not visited yet. One of those areas is right on the other side of this wall, and this door may be the entrance to that. 
there is a phantom walking around in here. The last time we were here, he was up above us here. And a matter of fact, I'm going to guess that that's still where he is. So, oh, this is telling me that Halden Graves' office is in that direction. Okay, this I was not expecting. On level four, even. <laughs> This office is on level four? <laughs> I don't know how to get to level four. I have no idea how to get to level four. Yikes. If you remember, when we came up here last time, we kind of made our way over here to fabrication, and boy, we had to run away with our tail between our legs. That's what we had to do. I have no idea how to get to level four. And I don't think that we could get in here yet, either. Yeah, there's not even a, a button to press to open that door. So we can't get in there. We got this jerk up here that we need to deal with. I'm gonna see if I can give him a couple shots from here. We pissed him off. That's okay. I don't know if he's gonna teleport down here or not but I just wanted to take a couple of surprise shots at him do as much damage to him as I could with uh, minimal effort so we're gonna wait until he kind of loses interest in us and then we're gonna take a couple more pot shots at him I didn't find anything he says oh whoa okay maybe he hears me walking around that was dumb to just kind of like take off there I'd like to get rid of him, because I'd like to get up there and just walk around unfettered. So let's see if we can take another shot at him. Let's see here. I wish the Phantom said more than this, because they all say the same things, the same four or five sentences over and over again. It'd be cool if they said different things. Maybe it'd be cool if they said different things as the game went on. Okay, dude. Come walk back over here now. He's being awful calm. Hmm. What you doing, dude? Doesn't seem to hear my footsteps. Look at this guy. It's interesting. Oh, we're actually, if we look at the map... Okay, we're currently on level two. Okay. Because that's not looking like it's very much higher than where we are now. Come on, dude. Show yourself so I can take another shot at you. Come on, man. Um, well, maybe this isn't such a good idea. He's trying to be smart. You know? What I was trying to do. If I could get some height here. Okay, maybe he's walking in this direction. Well, you see the the lights flickering and stuff, so kind of gives you an idea of where he is. Don't have anything to climb on top of. Okay, climb on top of this. Climb on top of this. This might be a dumb idea. Where is he? Interesting. Oh, there he is. Oh, look at him moving, man. He's quick. Ouch. He hit me, but I got him. I guess I'll trade that. Okay, good. We got rid of him, which is nice, because now I can maybe walk around up there without... Worrying about him so much. We've already been up here. Natasha has a different kind of suit on. So, I was fully expecting Graves' office to be back in there, but that's not where it is. This is a room that we still have not been in yet. Don't know how to get in there yet. Skill recorder analysis room. We are going to take this grav shaft up. 
<laughs> it's so funny coming back here now. So yeah, this is kind of nice. We're just going to kind of walk around. And point in that direction. Now, fabrication. Oh my gosh, we need a level four. <laughs> I can't get in there. What's that noise for? I'll be damned. I can't get in there. Huh. Well, we might have to go back through volunteer, remember? But also remember that that's where there was a freaking poltergeist. But we're going to walk over here now since we have... Where was the mimic? We have dispatched the, the uh, phantom that's here. There's a mimic... Maybe two mimics here. Are they the chair? They are the chair. Look at this guy. I'll take these guys out like this. I can always make more bullets. Nice. Very simple, very easy. That uh, psychoscope is awesome when you remember to use it. Transstar on the cutting edge of science. There's a body over there. The eighth wonder of the world is in space. Just kind of peeking around here to see if there's any more mimics that's going to jump out at me. Here's um, a banana peel. Okay. Here's a volunteer corpse. He's got some cookies and a bunch of disruptor batteries on him. And he has the disruptor stun gun. Which is something that I have not even used a little bit at all. Except for that one time I tried to use it. I still don't quite understand how to use it. Or what to use it on. So many questions. There is a maintenance hatch right here. That uh, we're going to take a peek into. <laughs> I like this little tune that plays when you use the psychoscope. So what do we got in here? What's going on? Just some random machinery. Oh, I hear a mimic in this direction. May even be up there. But why do I want to be in here? Where does this go? Where does this take us? Maybe up there is where I want to go. There's going to be a mimic up there. Okay, there's not. I heard one, though. I imagine you did as well, so whatever we heard must be in a different room. Let's go this way, man. Not seeing any Typhon activity. Much to my surprise and relief. But I must say that I'm skeptical. I'm not convinced that there's no uh, Typhon here. Here's another hatch. That's locked. Huh, okay. I haven't come across that before. I don't think. Where's this going to take us? Well, this is over top of the lobby. Don't really see any reason to be here. There's some goodies over there. So, Oh, and there's a body here too. So I guess we can walk on this glass. A bunch of plastic tubing. I don't know why there's so much of it up here, but I'll take it. This looks like a hatch, but uh, heck if I know how to open it. And then there's a body up here. This is quite a hiding space you've got up here, Junior Bookman with your sunburst banana. Well, thanks for the banana, dude, but um, what killed you? I guess um, the oxygen being sucked out of the station, or actually th that oxygen that was being sucked out was being sucked out of uh, the shuttle bay. Because the whole time we were there, I kept talking about hazardous conditions. Well, okay, this, um... It's kind of a disappointing place. Not the most exciting place in the world. It makes me wonder... If I'm missing something obvious here. You know, I mean, maybe this is an opportunity to look down on top of things down below. And see things that we couldn't see otherwise. But, uh... I'm not seeing anything. I don't see anything at all, so 
I guess we'll be on our way. This is uh, kind of a disappointing place, and um, it'd be a neater place if this was open, you know? And it took us to a new location, but that's locked, so we can't get through there. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a disappointing location. Okay, well, whatever. Down we go. And then back out here we go. Easier said than done. Yep. There we go. See that's flickering there? Makes me think there's a phantom nearby or something. This other, um... Thought maybe there might be a hatch hiding behind there. I hesitate to do this, man, but I'm gonna open this door anyway. This other hatch... I think it's up there, right? That hatch that we saw that was locked, I think it's up there. That's my guess. I volunteered. We read that already. There's a goodie up there, but that's right where that poltergeist was before. So I hesitate to go over there. Yeah, see how it's all flickery over there? There's something over there, man. But, let's see if we can get up there just because. I don't know if this will work or not. No, this doesn't look like it's going to. Um. Hmm. Uh. Huh. Oh wow, I made it over to this. But doesn't look like I climb up there from here, unfortunately. Hmm. I may have gone the wrong way here. Hmm. I mean. Kind of like, why bother? But, since I know it's there, I want to see it. The stupid camera is going to make it difficult to get around. If I could go up this way... Get to that beam there. But I don't think I'm going to even be able to do that because of this thing above my head here. I'm telling you, man, there's something over there. must say, this is not my favorite thing to do in this game. <laughs> Try to figure out how to get up into high spaces. Game's not going to be generous enough to let me climb that high. Right? And I'm using up all my glue here to try to get up there. in my way. Ready? Ready? What's moving? Look at that. Why is that moving? Is this supposed to be a camera? Yeah! see the subtitle? It said breathing. Yeesh. It's so dark in here. I thought I had turned the electricity back on. Oh, banana peel? That's all that is? Is a banana peel? There's a poltergeist over here, man. Can't see it, though. Can't see it. Come on, game. Let me get up there. Be kind, game. Be kind. Oh, man. I mean, sometimes it'll just let you climb right on up. Sometimes it won't. Whoops. And it's looking like this is going to be one of those times that it won't. 
I mean, I don't think having this out has any makes any difference. Uh, well, here I am trying to do this again. Ah, oh, I can't get there. This is... I'm going to say that's definitely where that hatch is. I don't think it's in here. This is where the floor is all shocky. Huh. Take that tumor. I must not have come back here since I had the ability to do that. What was that? Search? Search what? I guess it was this. Man, I really want to get up there. I mean, but on the other hand, it's like, why? I mean, we know where it goes. It just goes to that outer area that we've already been to. So... This freaking poltergeist over here. I'm so curious about it. <laughs> Why do I not see it in my scanner? Oh, I'm sure you heard that. Remember, we know that there's a, some goodies up there. Right? Remember, because we had seen a note about goodies being up there. Whoa, he's picking me up. Well, that was interesting. That was very interesting. Let's do something here. Let us... Alright, if I could get the <laughs> controls right. We're going to throw a null wave transmitter over there because that discharges a soul nullifying pulse. that do anything? Where'd it go? Where is it? Have I been in this room? Yeah, I'd say I have since that's missing. Where is this thing? Where'd it go? Can I even kill this thing? You know? Now that I've nulled it... Is it harmless? Or is it over here now? This is status. Look, I have a status on me. Status is... Psy nullified. Okay, well I'm nullified. That's fine. Oops. <laughs> I'm so discombobulated. Where is it? Where is this thing? Where are you? I've nullified your powers. Where are you? Where are you? So it's almost like when I nullify it, it, it can't exist. But if it can't exist, how am I supposed to kill it? Well, here's some drinks over here we might as well pick up. Take a drink of water. Come out, it says! Oh, that's not creepy at all, man. That's not creepy. Oh, no. Come out, it says. I must have been maxed out on an inventory last time I was in here to leave all this stuff behind. Where are you, it says. The poltergeist is pissed, man. It is pissed. I can't see it though. Come out. I'm gonna scan you, you bastard. Scanned complete. More specimens required. More specimens required, but we scanned it. Well, can't seem to do anything with it at the time. <laughs> it's creepy as hell, man. Alright, we're just going to leave that place alone. 
Huh. Research. Poltergeist. So that's what they look like, huh? Typhon Dysmorpha. Poltergeists are not a normal part of the Typhon ecology. Instead, they appear to be a result of a rare mutation that occurs in less than 5% of Phantom Genesis cases. The Poltergeist is also the only known Typhon to possess the ability to render themselves invisible, undetectable, even to psychoscope scanning. The exact mechanism is unknown at this time, as their limited numbers make, an, make adequate study difficult. Please note that any enclosure used for Phantom Gener Genesis studies must be subjected to a full purge to avoid overlooked poltergeist specimens. They're weak to fire. Hmm, am I going to get a flamethrower at some point in this game? Don't answer that. I mean, let me find out on my own. Oh, don't want it. Whoa, he's back! Look at that. I think he followed me out here. Well, for, for some reason, I'm not too afraid of him. Because um, all he does is pick me up, and that's kind of fun. But I wouldn't mind if he went away now, because um, I've had enough of your shenanigans, and I want to go back to exploring. So go away now. Welcome, volunteers. Yay. And they... These are some giant markers. Okay, I think the fan, uh, the poltergeist decided to walk away. So here's volunteer testing that we can get into, but I feel like that's going to put me on a wild goose chase. Uh, unfortunately... I mean, we want to go that way. That's where this office is. But we don't know the code to get in there, and we don't have level 4 hacking ability. And, I mean, I don't know if I want to spend my Neuromods on that, because, I mean, really, how much hacking is there going to be, you know? I mean, seriously. Alright, where, where's hacking? Is it scientist? Hacking 4. We need to spend 8 Neuromods. Energy. Harness the destructive power of electricity, fire, and kinetic, kinetic energy. Um... Oh, here's that phantom corpse that I neglected to loot. I mean, do I spend eight more Neuromods for something that... I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many level four things we need to hack through, you know? And do I even want to hack through a level four thing? There's got to be a code somewhere that gets us in there. Um, we do know that there is a back way in there, too. We do know that. And we tried to go there earlier in the game, but holy crap, man. That was scary. Oh, okay. I must have already searched this guy. Alright. Is anybody alive in here? Have I not used this station before? That's weird. I haven't used this station? Seriously? Still haven't seen an alarm panel. I don't know what they look like. Well, hey, let's ha how's hack in here? I I'm very uh, surprised. I mean, this is a tough one. These narrow passages here. I don't think we're gonna make it. <gasps> Look how! Oh no, I didn't make it. Oh man, I pressed the stinking button, but it just I just was a second too late. I mean, this one looks tough too. Come on. Oh, come on now. Come on. Oh gosh. Come on, get through! Woohoo! That's a close one. Huh. Utilities. Skill. I'll be damned. Look at this. Skill recorder access. Please keep traffic through the skill recorder area at a minimum during recording sessions to avoid data corruption authorized personnel only. And then there's an area map here. I can't believe that I didn't look at this before. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Well, we have a map of the area now. Uh, it doesn't include area... F well, it does include area 4. So we get to area 4 by this uh, graph shaft. 
This graph shaft is here in fabrication. I can't get into fabrication, though. This must be that locked door. Or no, we're actually on level... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Level 3 locked door. So we need to get through fabrication and go up this way. To get to Halden Graves' office. <laughs> Gosh. I want to go ahead and unlock skill recorder, man. Well, I think I unlocked it. Why not? Crew. Look at this. Here is um, Caleb Hawthorne is in Neuromod Design and Crew Quarters. Okay. Daniel Landon is in Crew Quarters. Just looking at people who are still alive. Uh, Lisa Larson is in Crew Quarters. <laughs> Very interesting. Crew Quarters. There's a lot of people left alive in Crew Quarters, as you can see. Crew quarters. Crew quarters. I'm looking at this right here. See where it says crew quarters? Nominal. That's weird. This person is safe. Oh, she's safe, as in, like, we let her go. Oh, man, how come we don't have a check mark next to her? Hmm. We talked to her. So she's safe. Bunch of people in the Arboretum. And some people in the cargo bay as well. They're still alive. What's this? I saw somebody with... Location unknown, status, dashes. What's up with that, Grant Lockwood? It's weird. Hmm. Let's uh, look at this email. From Rich Ivers to the Neuromod Division Security. Send help, please. We're locked in here. Graves has overridden the door locks, and there's no way out of fabrication. We're in the research office upstairs. I'm with Snow and Divya. Graves' light is on. I can see him moving around in his office, but he is not responding. Huh. Fabrication, huh? Hmm. Man, I wish I would see an alarm panel so I knew what the heck the game was talking about when it says alarm panels. Well, we now have access to Skill Recorder, so let's go in it. Even though this place is scary. Yeah, there's definitely trouble in here, man. Look at the lights going nuts. And uh, this is where we saw the, our first phantom in the game, if you remember. We saw him through this window. And those lights are going crazy, which indicates to me that there is a phantom in there. I'm just kind of cruising in here like there's nothing to be afraid of. But I'm eager to check this place out. Psychoscope's not picking anything up. No mimics in here that we're aware of. The psychoscope is aware of. Hmm, there's some stairs here. Wow, where's this going to take us? Circuit board. Here's a body. Some frayed wire. This guy's got some more frayed wire in here. Joshua Vanstreet. Hey, thanks for the Neuromod, dude. I appreciate it. What else is going on out here? Here we've got spare parts. White noise. Excerpt from white noise. Perceptions of imperceptions. Herndon Rigo. More often called white noise due to the telltale spots said to be like static in the victim's eyes, white noise isn't just a medical condition. And it's more than the wild, almost witch doctor like claims of psychic ability. Dr. Deo Igwe, anyone? Huh? It's disenfranchisement. It says the victim can never have a neuromod, nor can their brain be mapped. It's the end of everything that is about a person. Who is Transtar to decide? Will we let them add a biological caste system to the human race? What? White noise. 
telltale spots in the victim's eyes. White noise isn't just a medical condition. Huh. And it's more than the wild, almost witch doctor like claims of psychic ability. So, this Deo Igui, who we've heard mention of and even had heard his voice in uh, recordings, he's not really a doctor then? I don't know what to make of that at all. There's so many questions that need to be answered. So many questions that I want answered. I, 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 I'm interested, you know. I want, I want to know what all this stuff means. It's fascinating. Here is uh, some candy and a burnt circuit board. And some cool looking uh, equipment here. Here's where I expect to see a phantom room, but, uh, I mean, you got all the lights flickering over there? I mean, where are you hiding, Mr. Phantom? There's a body there. Something, something happened in here. All these cabinets turned over. Well, let's go up these stairs and see what's up here. Nothing written on the whiteboard for us to glean. Um, didn't really look at this. Brain waves and stuff, I guess. Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's go up at these stairs and see where they take us. Put our psychoscope on. See if there's anything waiting for us on the way. Mimic where? Mimic over there. See that tripod? Volunteer testing. Oh, we're in volunteer testing now. Okay. Well, we know there's a mimic in there. Something is arcing over there. Place looks safe. Testing room A. Waste not, it is your duty to recycle. Manual override. Let's not open that just yet. Anything waiting to jump out at us in here? Besides that one mimic? Authorized personnel only. Something scary sounding coming from behind that door, if you ask me. Yep, there's a mimic or a phantom walking around in there, definitely. Here's a psi hypo. Broken computer. Cafe Karsk. I'm hoping that somewhere we're going to find a code that'll get us into fabrication. Somebody's making all kinds of noise in there. Up. Eh, can't fool me. Made a noise. The mimic over there. <laughs> huh, interesting. Any more mimics in here? Listen to this. That is scary sounding in there. Neuromod installation and extraction. Boy, something's going on in there. Sounds horrifying. <clears throat> Match the phrase in English with the phrase in Mandarin. The hounds are always hungry. Okay. The rat sneaks through the tunnel. Alright, and then we're left with the eel is not fresh. And the young princess hides in the tower. Man, that is just gibberish to me. I really wish I understood that language because it's 
that's fascinating to me. You know, Chinese and Japanese written in that, uh, whatever you call that, alphabet. Is it even an alphabet? I, don't, I guess it's not an alphabet, is it? I don't know. But it's fascinating to me. And it really is that people can make sense of that. It seems like it would take forever to write anything. I mean, look how look how complicated this symbol is right here. Look at that. Look at these symbols. Pretty crazy. You have to remember them all. So, this is a testing area. Not sure what kind of tests they were doing in here. They're playing chess with them, apparently. That's a Voltaic Phantom in there, making all that racket. I wonder if we could get up there and look into the next room, kind of get a jump on him. I can't get this jump this high, can I? Uh, that's too heavy for me to carry. I could carry the chess table. Climb up on it. Climb up here. And then, um, let's see. Nice, I'm in. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a walkway here. Whoa. Okay, I feel like I'm in a limbo space. Look at this. Look at this craziness. Voltaic Phantom, all right. Let's see if we can scan him. Nice. So, we've learned a new ability that I'll never use. At least not in this playthrough. Electrostatic resistance. Take 50% less damage from electrical attacks and hazards. And negate stun. Oh boy, these things can stun us, huh? So, this is weird to me. I mean, it looks like there should be glass here, but there's not. I don't know why it's so foggy up here. I guess maybe it's just smoke. Not really doing much damage to him. If of any at all. Ouch! Holy crap, that hurt a lot. <laughs> did you see how much damage that did? <laughs> did a lot of damage! And if he comes through that door. Yeah, well, this. This kind of. Uh, he's going through the door. Man, is there more than one of these? This guy's making all kinds of noise. Listen to the noises he makes. It's awesome. So we'll have to, like, Morgan, he says. <laughs> Let's wait until he loses interest in us, and then we'll do some more surprise attacks on him. Get some extra boost in our damage. Whoops. Oh, poo. I see the word access up there. Alright, where are you going, dude? Still walking around in here. Look at all the trouble he's causing. Unfortunately, he saw me right away. Maybe when I dropped down there, he saw me. You seem frustrated, he says. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait again. Because he's just like any other computer game AI. He'll lose interest in you very soon. He's just flying around this place now. Great. Look at all the trouble he's causing. It's probably why these monitors aren't working, because he's damaged them all. Got him. No, I didn't. I didn't get him. I didn't get him. Huh. Come out, he says. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to attack. I do not want to get hit by this guy again. What is this room? Look at this crazy room down here. Oh, he's walking around. He's angry. I haven't seen him teleport like the other ones, so I don't know if he has that ability or not. Got him. Let's see what goodies he's got. Organ, organ, cookies, weapon upgrade kit, and some bullets. Nice. Well, that was satisfying. Speaking of satisfying, 
Let's take this guy out before I forget about him. Got him. Nice. Ooh. Well, I used a lot of ammo, but that's what it's for, man. It's for taking out difficult enemies like that, you know? Veggie blend. Crumpled paper. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame all these broken monitors on this um, voltaic phantom. Testing something about Chinese. Look at this. Oh, it stopped working. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be able to aim it in a different location and read it, read the rest of it, but apparently not. Well, soothing music from the speaker here. Well, much to my surprise, it is time for me to end this episode. I say much to my surprise because I feel like I just started playing. I mean, that's how great this game is, in my opinion. I, I Time flies when I'm having fun, and I'm having fun playing this game. We come back next time. Uh, we'll go into this room that says authorized personnel only. We'll check it out. And then uh, there's another door over here that I don't know if it goes to the same room. It kind of looks like it does. It also says, no, this one says Neuromod Installation and Extraction. So these might be two different rooms. I don't know. But um, we'll start off by going into this one right here. So I'll just kind of plant myself right here, aiming at it so that I don't forget when we start the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Just leave me a like or a comment. It's very simple, very easy. Thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time.